You're inside the USS Spiegel Grove, a Navy ship deliberately sunk two decades ago. It's become one of the most interesting dive sites in the United States, not just because it's a massive artificial reef system, but because it has a curious backstory. We spoke to the dive master who filmed this footage, and he told us everything there is to know about this awesome wreck. Welcome to Deep Blue Discovery. This particular dive is in the Key Largo area of Florida. Wreck diving can be dangerous, but it's always interesting. And as Michael Airy explains, the USS Spiegel Grove is unique. I love swimming through shipwrecks. The, the challenge of uh, safely navigating an enclosed environment is, is a thrill that I enjoy very much. And a great thing about exploring the Spiegel Grove is that it's, it's a relatively safe shipwreck to penetrate. It was purposefully sunk, and the people who sank the ship, they cleared out the inside and removed a lot of the debris that would ordinarily be a severe hazard for most divers. At more than 500 feet, it's much larger than any natural reef in the Florida Keys, and its size was part of the appeal for Michael. Part of what I like about it is that it's so big, which means there's lots of places to explore, a lot of corridors, a lot of nooks and crannies, rooms to check out, multiple levels to go up and down. So it, it really offers a lot of entertainment for someone who wants to check that out. It also has a bit of an interesting backstory. The Spiegel Grove was decommissioned as a Navy vessel in the late 1980s after serving more than 30 years. It then spent more than a decade mothballed in Virginia's James River before being towed in 2001 to its new home in the Florida Keys. The ship was supposed to be deliberately sunk to create an artificial reef, but in May 2002, it unexpectedly sank just hours before it was due to be scuttled. Some extra work was done, but the vessel was essentially left on its starboard side. That's not how it's sitting today in this footage, though. Three years later, in 2005, Hurricane Dennis hit the Keys and somehow turned the Spiegel Grove upright. Thanks to Michael, we can really get a sense of what it's like to swim inside the wreck today. Well, exploring the wreck is a lot of fun. It, it does have a something of a spooky element to it because first of all it's dark inside so you do need to bring your own lights where i was shooting video of the interior i had plenty of light i had all my video lights going so that wasn't a, really an issue but still with all the lights on you're casting shadows everywhere so you're always catching little movements out of the corner of your eye and as well as all the fish that are down there there's a lot of fish that swim around so there is a something of a spooky element to exploring inside a shipwreck Michael mentioned fish there, and the Spiegel Grove is now indeed an artificial reef ecosystem teeming with wildlife. It was fun to see all the different marine life that had taken up residence though inside the ship. That was pretty neat. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of fish swimming around inside. Nothing really big. There were no sharks or anything exciting like that, but, th but there was a, a very, it's become a very healthy artificial reef, which is nice. No sharks then? But what sort of wildlife did he find down there? Snappers, stripers, those kind of things. And the dive was quite a while ago, so I'm kind of straining my memory to recall exactly what marine life I saw, but they were your typical schooling fish. Diving inside a real shipwreck sounds like something you'd only see in the movies, which is one of the main reasons Michael loves it so much. I really get a kick out of making my way through narrow doorways, going up and down the, the staircases and through the hatches. That's something that I find uh, really fun because you, you have to be very conscious that you don't touch anything, that you don't come in contact with any surfaces. You have to be very careful about um, avoiding any kind of entanglements. So while I'm wending my way through different uh, doorways and hatches and going from level to level, 
that's something that I, I particularly enjoy because of the challenge, but also at one point you'll see in the video, I find a hatch that goes down to a lower level. And what I do is I, I pull all my limbs in so that I, I'm kind of um, in a little ball and then you exhale in order to facilitate descending. And I slowly creep down through the opening to the next level below. And then I can spread out again and start looking around. So that, that, that kind of thing is something I, I really enjoy is, is navigating through the tight spaces. Hopefully by listening to Michael and watching his footage, you can really get a taste of what it's like inside the Spiegel Grove. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. We're back next week with more sea life and awesome interviews.